Chris, I think it's fair to say that God is Geek.com champions indie games, small games. Would you not? Would you agree? Definitely. Um, and does it come any smaller than a one-man team? Behind the, well, the one developer who did everything on small radios, big televisions. That's published by Adult Swim. Yeah, not at all, mate. It's it's, it's quite an impressive feat. This one. So. What on earth is this game? Because if, you, if you're if you watching this video... So I'm, I, all I'm going to say about it is that essentially I read your review and I'd, mm. I'd seen a few screenshots obviously when the, the emails were sent to us and I thought that looks interesting and I'm very much a fan of interesting games and I ended up playing it to 100% but you've reviewed yeah. it. Um, yeah. w- w- what is it? Okay. So it's, it's quite difficult to explain um, as we've already kind of mentioned to each other but you, you will ex- end up exploring five factories um, which kind of look a bit like oil rigs, mm. um, and you there are diff- each one of them have got different doors, and you go through the doors, and then and then you're you're inside this factory, and there are certain puzzles throughout the game that can range from uh, using specific cogs or um, magnets, stuff like that, and there's plenty more, mm. um, but you basically have to find these gems, uh, and they are used to. Uh, unlock doors, uh, and then you do that, and then you'll get to the next level, and so on and so on. It's, but it's also, ca- it's, it's kind of a point and click game, isn't it? Kind of. Yeah, it's it's weird. I mean, that was one of the kind of criticisms is ha- why they've gone with this approach because it'd be so much easier on a mouse. You essentially, it, yeah. I, I actually, I was going to say, I've, I've actually looked this. I've looked up someone playing it on PC. And ah. It is. It, it, it looks just like a point and click game. Yeah, well, it, it which makes it sense. Isn't on PS4. It, it's it's kind of yeah. weird on PS4. Yeah, you're using your left. To kind of look around, but you've got very limited movement, and yeah. then your right stick is used to kind of move the cursor around and and open doors or use the kind of do solve the puzzles and stuff. But the the kind of the the best thing about it, whilst you're trying to get from factory to factory, is finding these tapes because most Cassette of these tapes. green. I, d- yeah. I just want to clarify because I think there's an entire generation that go. What do you mean? Tape? Yeah, exactly. Cassette tapes, like old-fashioned <laughs> little square things that contained music or data. If you played Spectrum games, and yeah. you put inside a cassette recorder and press play on, and it plays music. That's a yes. cassette tape. Analog, analog media, children. Yes. <laughs> so the, the most of these kind of gems that you have to find to unlock the doors are found in these tapes, uh, and so I'll explain this again. It's quite a a great concept to be fair where you will put your tape cassette tape into your cassette tape player uh, press play and then it, it kind of transports you into this kind of a different world if you want and and some of them are very static some of them you've got very little movement as you move forward in the game you do end up having more movement within these levels mm. but you have to find these gems and they could be as simple as you look in the background to the left of the of the place and there's there's one sitting on a rock, um, or then you you, you may you might go into one of these worlds and you can't find it. So you would come back out of the world into the factory, and there's these magnets which let you reverse the tapes uh, and kind of Did you make them immediately go immediately get rewind. that? Sorry, I didn't mean to talk over you. Because I, I, I feel like the, when you actually mm. stop, and when you finished it and you look back on the game, I think yeah. it actually does do quite a good job of easing you into the mechanics no, I didn't. but I mean at first it, 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 I didn't quite get that they were magnets. it was only due to the fact that I was struggling with one I of the I thought they were uh, I don't know what they were doing like to be honest with you tried it and see what saw what happened and, and that's that's what it was yeah so it kind of it kind of distorts the tapes yeah. and and you so for okay. example there's one which I mean it's it's kind of like one of the worlds is a a, a cliffside and there's a little lake at the start of it um it's a lovely little kind of serene image. And you yep. put this tape back into one of these magnet things in the factories, go back into this world, and everything's kind of... It's as if it's in reverse and it's all distorted and it's gone wrong. Uh, everything's kind of... There's, there's, the gravity's basically disappeared. Everything's mm. flying from the floor upwards. The picture's distorted. It's really weird. And then this one green gem will fly up from somewhere. And it's like it's as if it was on, in a, the, the water where you couldn't see it when you were looking as, in the first place. Yeah. So the, the kind of the, the concept is it's a really smart idea. And as we said, for yep. one person to have kind of done this, is, it is a great achievement. It just, for, for me, I just. I'd, I lost a bit of the, some of the puzzles were a bit they're either a bit too 
not, I don't say dull, because that's unfair. They're just a bit repetitive and a bit kind of... There's some puzzles in Love and Water that I don't think I ever actually yeah. got a handle on what I was supposed to be doing. Some of them, there's paint, like the walls are painted and they give a clue, but I don't feel like I ever... There's one particular mm. puzzle, there's one where there's... I'm not, it's not in the video, but there's four of those cogs you have to turn and there's a waterfall, mm. and I did that, and then I went back into the game to get like the trophies for completing it 100%, and even though I'd not done it that long ago, yeah. I still didn't get it again the second time I was like I, I don't know I think I would brute forced it twice um, and I do I think yeah. I'm not 100% sure by the end it feels like it starts to get mm. a bit framey like I, f mm. I found some bits like, I'm not going to spoil the yeah. ending but there's some, there's quite a cool ending actually quite a long ending yeah. now I think about it but the actual the sequence leading up to it is a bit different to the main game um, and I quite yeah. I quite liked it but I found it a bit framey I suppose I love the music to the yeah. main game I do I like the art style I quite dig the music yeah. some of the visuals like there's the, do, do, do you know when you go into the the tape stuff and there's a tree that one's my absolute favorite. I think I actually took a screenshot and tweeted that because that's kind of yeah. desktop, desktop wallpaper style. That's the uh, the arboretum one. That's that the is, one. Yeah. yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, I was I was the same. Yeah, um, yeah. It's not. It's it's a good game, isn't it? It's it's a good, oh, it's God, an interesting yeah. game. That's what I like. I think that's what pulled me through. Yeah, I mean, I think one of the the, the coolest kind of publishers at the moment are Adult Swim. I agree. They put two games out this year, which I've. I mean, Headlander was excellent. Uh, I think this is for for just one person to have made. It's, it's beautiful, you know. That you, yep. it, it just compared to a lot of other games by a singular team, it's 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 a re it's a really remarkable. Absolutely. Achievement. Past couple of hours because it's in a long campaign, which is fine, but it's definitely yeah. But it's it's definitely worth seeing. And you're right, especially for the ending, where it kind of just it's just a bit trippy and it's just it's just, it's just a bit different, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. It's just a bit different. It's an interesting game, and as you say, Adult Swim genuinely putting out some different games like Headlander is a Metroidvania but this is very different yeah. um, there was like a Fallout kind of jokey game they put I can't remember what it's called I think I can't mm. even remember if it was this year or not but uh, again different like a different look at games yeah. but you can read Chris's full impressions and a scored review over on godasageek.com do you like to emphasise that this is an accompaniment to Chris's written review as I say godasageek.com is where you will find that uh, Chris can be found on Twitter at firstavenger83 I'm at gbsf and what you know if, you, if there's a game you particularly want us to cover Either throw it in the comments down below, uh, or tweet us at God is a Geek. And but we genuinely would like to hear what you think this game looks like. If you're going to play it, have, if you have played it, did you 100% it? Did you only get 10 minutes in? We'd love to hear in the comment section below. Chris, thank you for your time, and we'll speak to you next time. Bye bye for now. Hello, did you enjoy that video? I did. But if you really enjoyed it, click subscribe over here. Just to see it somewhere there, and you will never miss a video. Just down here, if you really liked us, you can donate to our Patreon. One dollar or one pound a month. And seriously, it helps us make stuff like this. This very camera recording this, that pays for it. Also, I, do you know what? Actually, I'm a bit big, aren't I? Um, I need to be smaller. Right, now over here, there's a video you can watch. If you click the playlist over there, you can watch that. There's loads of reviews and stuff. Seriously, there's just loads of content everywhere. It's just content, man. Content!